If you were to ask me who's the most passionate community in crypto right now, I'd be tempted to say BitTensor Tao. And at first I was puzzled about why people liked it so much, but after doing some research, well, it looks like BitTensor could be the first project to properly combine AI and crypto, and that be groundbreaking. But on the other hand, oh my goodness, it's one of the most complicated projects I've ever set out to research. So when we ask the question, is it time to buy Tau? Well, the answer isn't as simple as you think. We have to consider all the pros and cons first before making our final verdict. So with that in mind, let's start with the pros, aka the case for buying Tau. First and foremost, they are in a great niche, right? Arguably the hottest niche in the entire world. Most tech companies are still weighed down from their peak pandemic valuations, but AI companies are still reaching new all-time highs seemingly every month. It's one of the few industries in the world where VCs are still investing at sky-high valuations. And I mean, that shouldn't be surprising, right? AI products like ChatGPT have been shattering records in terms of usage and adoption. So for a project like BitTensor, which sits at the intersection of AI and crypto, well, let me just say that I'd rather be them than probably any other project in crypto right now. But perhaps even more important than their niche is the fact that BitTensor is actually tackling an important problem in the AI space. And that's the fact that AI is super centralized right now. This isn't just some privileged philosophical objection, by the way. We have a small number of corporations controlling access to the best AI models, and they're all siloed, so there's no collaboration or knowledge sharing going on. Like, let's say for example that there's a small group of engineers from some university with their own AI model that specializes in some particular task. Well, wouldn't it be great to put that into production and open up access for the whole world? I mean, of course it would be great, but in the centralized, winner-take-all world of AI, that really isn't feasible for small teams. Now, fortunately, this is where BitTensor comes in with their innovative solution. They've designed a decentralized network of AI models with a blockchain system that aligns incentives for all participants. Their system makes it so that any team or even a single AI researcher can monetize their model and let interested consumers pay for access to it. This creates an ever-expanding library of machine intelligence, which will continue to grow as members of their network share knowledge with one another. Now, whether or not their ambitious and innovative solution ends up working in the end, I don't know. But what I do know is that their team is working really hard to make it happen. Recently, they launched their major subnets upgrade, and that means we'll be seeing a lot more diversity in the AI models available on BitTensor. Right now, it's mostly just text chatbots on their network, like ChatGPT type models. But soon, there will be specialized subnets, aka groups of similar models that can do things like coding, text to image generation, and other useful stuff. So this is a real game changer for them. But I wanna shift gears to the tokenomics of their Tau token, because there's a lot to like here. Basically, they base their tokenomics after Bitcoins, with 21 million Tau tokens in total and a four year halving cycle. One block is mined roughly every 12 seconds and miners and validators get one Tau token per block, which equates to 7,200 Tau per day until their next halving. So purely from an investment perspective, I like that their tokenomics follow a similar hard money approach as Bitcoin. I also like that BitTensor did a fair launch for Tau. There was no pre-mine, and even the VCs who got tokens either participated in the network or bought it on the secondary market. Speaking of VCs, there are some big names participating in their ecosystem, like Polychain Capital, Foundry by Digital Currency Group, and more. They are either validators for the network or perhaps market makers as well. But the point I want to make here is that all these big names participating gives legitimacy to this Yum project, which definitely helps. Now, in terms of their token utility, I'm also a big fan of that. The Tau token is needed to access AI models on their network, and it's also used for governance and staking. Tau also serves as an important incentive mechanism for miners and validators to participate in the network and contribute their intelligence, aka their AI models. So yeah, Tau is used in many ways across their network, and that means demand for it will likely grow as their network grows as well. 
Now, if we look at Tau from a different angle, another reason to buy is because they're at an early stage right now. So it has sky high potential if they succeed. Just look at OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. They recently received around a $30 billion private market valuation from their most recent funding round. So if we compare BitTensor to them, that's an easy 30X from Tau's fully diluted market cap of $1 billion. But also it's gonna take at least 10 years before Tau gets remotely close to releasing its full supply. So at its current market cap of around 300 million, it would be an even greater increase of 100X to match OpenAI's valuation. Now that's probably not the best apples to apples comparison, but it'll work for our purposes. Phew, that was a lot of pros, right? I bet you're itching to buy right now. But hold up, because you gotta hear my cons first, AKA reasons not to buy, before you make up your mind. And my first con is that BitTensor is so effing complicated to understand. Like no joke, I've researched hundreds of crypto projects over the years, and this is top three in terms of how complicated it is. And don't tell me that their material is not made for normies. I'm not a normie at all. I actually got a master's in electrical engineering and my research focus was on machine learning. So BitTensor is right up my alley. And still, I found their stuff difficult to understand. So yeah, I ended up hopping on a call with someone on their team and only then was I able to clear up a lot of my confusion. But this is not good, right? Because if the project is hard to understand, then that's gonna hold them back in terms of growth and adoption. Some people will take one look at it and be like, nope. I'm gonna go with something easier to understand. But anyways, I was reflecting on why this project is so hard to understand. And one major reason is because the community puts out a lot of content about it that's riddled with inaccuracies or contradictions. Like they don't bother to fully understand every intricacy and they just throw out some tweet or a blog post that sounds good, but it's not precise. For example, there are a lot of people on Twitter saying that BitTensor can do training for AI models, but that's actually not true. Right now, they can only do inference. Inference means that you ask a model to predict or estimate something and it gives you a response, but training is a whole different beast. And while the BitTensor team is exploring ways to do decentralized training, that's considered to be the holy grail of AI research. So it's by no means close to ready. Also, I read a post where someone wrote that each Tau token represents a piece of machine intelligence, but that's technically not true either because Tau tokens are created on a regular interval, regardless of if there's an organic query to a miner for some inference task. So the ones that are created without an underlying query, I wouldn't consider those to be attached to a piece of machine intelligence per se. Next, a lot of people tout BitTensor's open source nature as being one of their biggest advantages. But technically, it's not accurate to say that they're open source because while some of the models on their network are open source, they also have several closed source models too. After all, you can pretty much put any type of model on their network. So they're definitely not 100% open source in that regards. Now, I will say that they do favor open source and they're even doing great work in terms of helping open source models get monetized. But yeah, that's a much more nuanced statement than what people are putting out there. And then lastly, I've seen people write that the BitTensor network is oh so collaborative. Like all the models are working together and it's kumbaya over there. But that's also not quite true. Currently, their system is a winner takes all model where the best miner with the best AI model wins. So that really isn't that collaborative, right? Now they are working on something called the mixture of experts system, where multiple miners with similar answers could all get rewarded. But per my understanding, that's not fully out yet. So my point here is that this is not some AI utopia where all the models are sharing information and collaborating like some people claim it is. Anyways, after talking to their team, their project started making a lot more sense to me, but it is still one of the most technical projects out there. So what we really need is some unbiased AI and machine learning expert to scrutinize their solution so we can tell how feasible it is. And this is super important, right? Because they are a young project with a short track record. Like their most recent Finney network just launched in March of 2023. And we've already seen some issues pop up. 
In June, there was some collusion between miners on the network, so the team had to reduce rewards by 90% through centralized action in order to minimize the impact. But even beyond that, BitTensor has a lot of new things, like the proof of intelligence and the Yuma consensus mechanism. So I don't think it's FUD to say that we should prefer battle-tested consensus mechanisms rather than brand new ones. Otherwise, there could be flaws or vulnerabilities that cause major issues in the future. Now, another point of criticism is that a lot of the products that are live on their network are really subpar and have low adoption. Personally, I tried out Chat with Hail, Reply Tensor, Bit API Chat, and they were either down or really bad compared to similar products out there. So yeah, this is gonna continue to be a problem unless they're able to attract top teams to build products on top of their network. Fortunately, the team knows this, and they told me that their initial focus was on getting miners. And now that they have a lot of miners, they're turning their focus to attracting developers. So hopefully they'll be successful at that. But at the moment, they're not quite there, so this remains a weakness for the time being. Now, I mentioned earlier that there's a lot of stuff to like about their tokenomics, but there's also some head-scratching aspects about it too. Like, okay, I like Bitcoin's tokenomics because it's scarce and hard money, right? But does it really make sense for BitTensor, a global AI neural network, to have the same tokenomics as Bitcoin? Like BTC is deflationary, or you could say disinflationary. But I don't see why that's the right approach for BitTensor. They want a network with a ton of miners and a ton of apps built on top, right? Imagine all those apps querying miners and their AI models millions of times. Well, shouldn't they have a token that's equally abundant to match the amount of activity on there? Ideally, the token would also inflate with a similar pace as the growth of the network. So yeah, I'm just thinking out loud here, but I think it would make more sense to have a slight perpetual inflation like a lot of the layer one blockchains out there so that Tau can be more like digital oil for its global AI network rather than like digital gold. Anyways, I gotta admit that I already scooped up a small bag of Tau as sort of a moonshot gamble. I definitely like what they're doing, but let's be real. It has a high chance of failing or at least never accomplishing its lofty vision of revolutionizing the AI space. So my decision to buy is largely based on its current risk to reward ratio. But what do you think? Are you gonna buy after watching this video? Also, if you missed our time to buy videos on ADA or LINK, you can find them right here. Otherwise, next up is Algorand, so be sure to subscribe to catch that.